Well, we're interrupting our normal coverage here on Press TV to uh, continue our coverage of the prisoner swap day, as it were, on the Lebanese border. Uh, I think we can show you pictures there. Uh, that, those are pictures uh, from the Lebanese border where uh, about 199 bodies of, or uh, the remnants of bodies in some cases have been returned by the Israelis. Uh, and of course, uh, Lebanese Hezbollah have returned uh, the bodies of two Israeli soldiers. But uh, while celebrations are occurring uh, in Lebanon, uh, celebrations are also occurring in Gaza, where uh, I understand uh, we have uh, Samir Al-Khalili live. Samir, uh, so tell us the significance in Gaza of uh, this prisoner swap deal. Yes, well, actually, uh, let me correct All right, something. Right, We're I, I, just located told in Ramallah right now in the West Bank. Yes, yes, in Ramallah uh, and uh, the whole cities of the West Bank celebrated today the event, this event uh, that is uh, widely appreciated by Palestinians. Uh, Palestinians today are happy of the release of prisoners, both Lebanese and Palestinians. Uh, they are celebrating the successful efforts by Hezbollah and by Mr. Hassan Nasrallah, who succeeded in releasing uh, Palestinian uh, prisoners and uh, the Palestinian bodies uh, detained in, the, in Israel. Uh, today, and just behind me, just a moment ago, Palestinians were celebrating this event. And what you see behind me is the memorial of uh, the, uh, the grave of uh, the late Palestinian president, Yasser Arafat, where Tens and hundreds of Palestinians came from uh, the city of Ramallah. Also, let me tell you that in Naples, still Karim, Jenin, uh, demonstrations uh, uh, were held by uh, uh, or, uh, ordinary Palestinians who uh, came, uh, took the streets and uh, to celebrate this event, the release of Dalal al-Mughrabi, uh, of her body, of course, uh, uh, and uh, Samir al-Kantar, who spent 29 years in the Israeli prisons. What these two are uh, widely honored by the Palestinian people. Uh, these two represent the Palestinian struggle and the uh, Palestinian uh, resistance. Now let me tell you that Palestinians are totally frustrated from the political negotiations between the Palestinian leadership in Ramallah and Israel. Today's event proves to Palestinians that resistance is the only way to bring back freedom to Palestinians and to Lebanese, to Lebanese as well. Yeah, Samir, I mean, perhaps uh, the reason why I was thinking it was Gaza, because, of course, it's so important for Palestinians, perhaps all around the world, uh, this prisoner swap deal, uh, because Palestinians have waited so long. But, um, Samir, does this weaken the hand of Mahmoud Abbas? Because this is a deal between Hezbollah and Israel. Uh, Hamas is now negotiating. Uh, through uh, through a third party with Israel. What is Fatah and what are the uh, Fatah-related PLA uh, elements in the West Bank? What, what do they think of all of this? Well, I just met uh, two of the major uh, uh, movement spokesmen. One of them is uh, Ziad Abu'ain, the Fatah spokesman, and Khalida Jarrar, one of the leftist party spokeswomen. Both of them expressed the uh, happiness of the release of prisoners uh, by Hezbollah. And they, they said, they told Press TV that resistance, yes, it's the only way to regain well, freedom because Ma of Palestine Ma Mahmoud Abbas, and uh, to get rid of the Israeli occupation. To, to a lot of observers, and I suppose especially Palestinian well, observers, I mean, st Israel is still holding perhaps 10,000 prisoners. Um, Mahmoud Abbas uh, meets with George W. Bush, with Condoleezza Rice, and gets nothing. And Hezbollah... Um, well, they won a war in Lebanon, uh, gets the release of all these Palestinians and Arabs fighting for Palestinian freedom. Yes, well, if, if I heard your question right, uh, let me tell you something that uh, Palestinians still are not pleased with what the political process has achieved till now. Actually, they didn't achieve anything. The settlements are still expanding in the West Bank. The aggression is still the, uh, the Israeli forces uh, raid the Palestinian cities, uh, especially the northern cities of the West Bank, on a daily basis. Do you think, we Samir? Know that's just, just two days. Well, actually, just. Sure. Just I mean, I was just going to say, Samir, that. A number of settlers attacked one of the peaceful villages next to Bethlehem City in the West Bank. 
and uh, they were evacuated the next day. So the, uh, the Israeli raids do not stop in the West Bank. Uh, as uh, Israelis said, told uh, Abu Mazen uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas in negotiations that they will stop their aggression in the Palestinian territories. They didn't stop it. So the pa Palestinian people are not pleased with what the negotiations has done so far. Uh, in regard to the uh, Israeli-Palestinian-American meetings that are being held, every time Condoleezza Rice visits the area, Palestinians have a negative, um, a negative uh, uh, response to that visit. So why and we know how many demonstrations we saw on streets when uh, the uh, uh, American president, uh, George Bush, visited Palestine. Uh, last year, after the uh, uh, just uh, this uh, this year uh, uh, in January, after the Annapolis Conference in November 2007, so uh, Palestinians do not support the political process as much as they support, and the proof is today's event as much as they support the resistance and uh, the Islamic resistance uh, conducted by the Palestinian movements of jihad and Hamas and by the uh, uh, Arab ally in Lebanon, Hezbollah. So why, why is Mahmoud Abbas still in that position then if uh, all the movement seems to come from movements like Hezbollah and Hamas? And, and also, you're there in the West Bank. Uh, Israel has done this before. All these celebrations are occurring. They're not going to use under the cover of these celebrations to uh, intimidate uh, Palestinians and perhaps... Uh, uh, repeat the events that you were talking about just there about in uh, Bethlehem over the past few days? Well, let me tell you something. The Palestinian people do not uh, aim their anger against their president, who is democratically elected, Mahmoud Abbas. Mahmoud Abbas, actually, let me tell you that he succeeded many times in releasing number of prisoners from the Israeli uh, uh, detention facilities. Just months ago, uh, he succeeded in releasing uh, 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 about 500 Palestinian prisoners from different political streams from the Israeli prisons. So yes, uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, did, uh, did many things for the Palestinian people, and Palestinian people appreciate his uh, efforts. Uh, and Palestinians celebrated the release of Palestinian prisoners many times. We know that uh, we did cover it at the offer crossing many times. Uh, around 500 Palestinian prisoners, as I told you, were released. But unfortunately, Israel <laughs> abducts every day almost 20 or 30 Palestinians. So this makes the whole total number of Palestinian prisoners almost the same or even increasing every day. We have almost 11,500 Palestinian prisoners still detained in the Israel.